before you hit the mountains for a bit of slalom action, you need to be warmed to the core. And luckily, just outside Jindabyne, compliments of our Discovery Holiday Pucks courtesy bus, we're on a mission to sample the nectar that's been a European institution for centuries. Have a look at this. <laughs> The only fruit schnapps distillery in Australia. But don't be fooled by the fruit. This seemingly harmless little drink packs a serious punch. Well, let's find out. Let's do it. It's a serious looking coffee machine, bro. <laughs> well, no, it's a still. Oh. Yeah. She shouldn't have known that, Jerry. All right, yeah. How's it work? Well, what we do is we get fermented fruit and we put it in here. Heat it up, it's like a big double boiler. Mm -hmm. So it draws 48 kilowatts, so the, the meter spins and all of that energy goes into the bottom of the still. Actually, it's Australia's biggest schnapps distillery machine and it's right here in the snowy mountains. Brad Spaulding and his wife Monica own Wild Brumbies. A welcome pit stop for weary travellers in need of a little pick-me-up. To be yeah, a schnapps, it has to be a mm. fruit-based product so it is it's still a schnapps but it's got a little bit of butterscotch added okay. to it it's lovely with uh, over ice cream drink that make it schnappy <laughs> i think i'm getting a little too comfortable here <laughs> oh it's nectar <laughs> the schnapps are fabulous and brad tells us he saved the best to last this one's a little bit spicy and if you game a lot of people it find it's a devil's tongue oh wow yeah so, it will put hairs on your chest. Just down the hatch? Down the hatch. Are you serious? That? That's like drinking straight Tabasco. Oh. Well, Brad was right about one thing. It does put hairs on your chest. Yeah, it worked. All too soon, it was time to go. But Brad, bless him, wasn't going to let us leave empty-handed. What a great place. And you know what? You'll find so many groovy places like this in the Snowy Mountains Shire.